So let's see how we can implement the body of this check if letter is in word method. And uh, I just want to go after this on create method. And so if I click on this bracket, I can see that uh, this is the closing bracket for uh, my own create method. It just appears right here on the screen. And I can see that um, the own create method has this uh, opening bracket highlighted. And it's also highlighted uh, just right here. And so that means uh, they are corresponding to each other. And I'm just going to go and hit a couple of times enter. So I'm going to go uh, after this on create method. And I'm going to use a method that's uh, void method. And that's because it's just a place where you can put our code. And I'm going to copy the name of my method from here. So it's going to be called check if letter is in word. And it takes as a parameter a char. So a char named letter. Okay, so at this moment, what we need to do is to check if the letter was found inside the word to be guessed. Okay, so in order to specify this condition programmatically, we're going to say word to be guessed dot index of, and we're going to pass in letter. So we're going to see what's the index of this letter. And we can just say greater or equals to zero. So basically, if uh, the index is somehow greater or equal to zero, that means that um, my index of method uh, found that uh, letter inside my word to be guessed. And if uh, my index of method returns minus one, that means that letter was not found inside the word to be guessed. So basically, if I check if it's uh, greater or equal to zero, that means that my letter was found inside the word to be guessed. And now what I need to do is to perform a check if the letter, so basically if the letter um, was not displayed yet. So if the letter was not displayed, I can just, uh, display it right away. So replace the underscores and then display the word on the screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify the condition right now for the if statement. And I'm just going to say word displayed. And as I type in, you can see that we have two of them. Uh, one is a char array and one is a string. I'm just going to use the string so that it's easier to perform searches on the string because we have this index of method but we don't have it when you use a char array. So that's why we have both of these uh, data types for the same entity. And then we're going to say letter. So uh, if the index of this letter is just uh, lower than zero, we can also say equal to minus one, but I can, uh, I prefer to say lower than zero. So that means that this letter um, is not found in my uh, word displayed string. So if it's not found, that means it's a correct guess by the user. And we need to, first of all, replace the underscores with that letter. Okay, and in order to replace it, we're going to say reveal. We can call our uh, function reveal letter in word. And um, we're going to pass this letter. So reveal this letter in my word. And finally, we have to update the changes on the screen. So we have to display the word on screen. Okay, so at this moment, we have uh, also something else that we need to do. And that is, uh, we have to check if the game is won. So basically, um, the user has a correct guess, and now we have to see if he's uh, uh, he just won the game. So if it if it is the last letter that he had to check, then uh, basically he won the game. So have to check if the game is won, and that's quite simple. We just have to um, use an if statement. Okay, and right here as a condition, we're gonna say if my word to be displayed, so the word displayed as a string. Uh, index of. So we're going to check if we have any underscores in it. 
so if we have some underscores uh, then it's not the game is not uh, won but um, if there are no underscores that means that the game is won and I can also use I just want to show you some something different uh, we also have this contains method that we can use so we can just pass contains and then we can check if uh, my string contains uh, this uh, um, this string inside it. Now this string is basically just like uh, um, contains just one character, and that is the underscore. So if my uh, string contains this one, this underscore, that means the game is not one. So I have to reverse the condition. So I'm going to put just uh, this exclamation mark, and uh, what this does is just reverses my um, condition so at this moment I'm checking if um, the word displayed doesn't contain any underscores so if it doesn't contain underscores that means the game is won so what I need to do is to um, set up on this txt tries left I'm gonna say set text to the winning just to the winning message that we specified at the beginning as U1 so on our application basically it's gonna appear if the user wins it's just gonna appear uh, where you see this uh, five X's it's just gonna go right there and it's gonna say U1 and uh, that's basically uh, what we need to do for this branch now also as you can see right here uh, this is where my if statement finishes so uh, I'm gonna just use an else statement and that's for um, just to check if uh, so uh, if the letter was found inside the word to be guessed we're doing this otherwise if the letter was not found we're gonna uh, just uh, deduct something from our user so I'm just gonna leave a comment right here so otherwise if the letter was not found inside the word to be guessed okay and then we're gonna use uh, some code right here in order to deduct uh, from the user the number of tries but that's one what we're gonna do in the next video